Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think EA Sports has just taken the Foot Birthday content to the next level, especially with the Foot Birthday Swaps Rewards that they dropped yesterday on this game. Now, I'm not saying the whole Swaps Rewards are a W. I think there is a very mid kind of feeling to this, but where everybody's going to be taking the rewards, a lot of packs are going to be redeemed, and I think that it's going to set this next couple of days on this game into a big crafting spree especially with the 80 plus player pick that we got yesterday there is a lot to do right now in this game in terms of crafting SBCs and a lot of fodder packs are being opened and that's kind of putting the shift of this promo in that area instead of the lackluster upgrades on the cards that are in packs so I want to take a look at that and how that could impact the market but we're still going to get daily player SBCs and we still have a lot of stuff to do every single day and objectives as a part of this foot birthday grind so I'm engaged I'm involved I got to keep grinding my swap tokens I know a lot of you guys are thinking the same way as well so we're going to talk about all of that today and more if you find any enjoyment or you get any use out of this video today hit the thumbs up and of course if you're new around here hit that subscribe button now there's a lot to talk about from yesterday let's start from the top with swaps now we didn't have any leaks from this besides a couple things beforehand that we talked about yesterday 81 times 11 world cup crespo foot birthday team one pack 82 times 20 i mean you guys have seen these rewards that are inside of here i'm gonna cut to the chase and give it to you straight right away i do believe this swaps program is mid it really is if you look at the players that are inside of it alan Shearer for 20 tokens that's the only good player in this set in my opinion and really i think the people that are going to take this are newcastle fans or somebody who just wants to try out a cool very rare card that not a lot of people are going to have that has some pretty interesting upgrades and five star skills probably the only alan Shearer ever that's going to have five star skills right so i get the idea that you want to do that and that is kind of cool but rio ferdinand 300k icon card, that's a lot of tokens to grind for a player that's only about 300k on the market and not that special. There's so many other cards out that are as good or better than him. Same thing with Crespo. I understand if you want to go for like a past and present United team, you could go for a Rio, but for 17 tokens, that just seems a bit steep. Where everybody's kind of seemingly going with this fodder, uh, with this swaps promo, I said it right there, is the fodder, right? You got the 85 times 10 for a very good value of 10 swaps tokens. A lot of people have been opening this up already, and guys, I'm telling you, the pack weight on this is actually a lot better than what I expected. We opened a bunch yesterday on stream. The foot birthdays that you pack from this, you're not getting the insane cards, right? A lot of what people are packing from this are the Lafont, right? They're packing the Jabril So, the Yerai, the Chukweze, and the two versions of Koke. But you still have a chance at getting some really good cards from like Foot Birthday Icons, still some of the good guys in the promo team. I think we packed an Emerson yesterday from one of those 85 times 10s. But the interesting thing about those 85 10s yesterday is that the rest of the fodder that the packs were giving out, you guys know, sometimes with a pack like this, you get like six 85s and the rest is a couple 86s and an 87. But a lot of packs we got yesterday, only one, two, or three 85s inside of it. That is a really, really good pack weight for this pack. So I'm a huge fan of this 85 times 10. At 10 tokens, I think it's the best value swap SBC reward in the whole entire uh, release. The 84 times 20, which is basically an 84 times 40, two different packs, I think is decent as well. It just seems like kind of a fodder swaps promo. The 87 plus player pick inside of here is really interesting as well. I think there's two best scenarios to go with this. You can go with the 30 tokens, right? Is how many tokens we're expected to get in total. Now there are going to be 34, I believe, in including the store packs. So if you kind of want to do math based off of that, if you're buying all the store packs, go ahead. But 30 tokens available via SBC and objective. I'm going to go with the 15 token player pick. I'm going to go with the 10 token, 85 times 10 and the five token, 82 times 20. I think that gives me a nice mix of fodder and also the potential to hit something fun and to gamble a little bit with this nice player pick. And these player picks very similar to the ones that we had during the Future Stars promo, just with more recent and some live cards inside of this road to the finals, fantasy foot, fantasy foot hero, foot birthday team one. There's a lot of potential with those. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to hit that, the 85, 10, and the 82 times 20. But if you want to go with the 84 times 20 and the 85 times 10, I don't blame you. But the reason why I think those swaps rewards yesterday really took foot birthday to the next level is 
all of the SBCs that we are getting right now just became super craftable. Now people with fodder are saying, hey, yo, am I doing Pedri? Am I doing Iwobi? Am I going to start crafting Rivaldo? Um, am I going to do the 88 plus icon player pick? Or what other SBC am I going to start crafting? Maybe it's Croy for Mbappe. There are just so many SBCs out right now um, that are, you know, decent enough to do in the craft that people have upgrades uh, to do as well alongside of those, like the 80 plus player pick, which is incredible value. And I packed my biggest pack pull of the year in terms of tradable value you from this uh, yesterday. We'll talk about that. But I just think the crafting kind of like vibes on this game right now is all the hype is in the SBCs and the fodder packs that you can get from SBCs and objectives to go and get either SBC packs done that you're going to save for maybe you don't like the foot birthday cards that are in packs right now and you want to save for foot birthday team too. Either you're doing that or you're opening the packs right now and just crafting and doing a lot of SBCs. So yes, the swaps program is not insane, but I think it is great enough uh, that it helps us get a lot of SBCs done and it really puts that kind of emphasis on the game, which is a really fun grind when there's SBCs out that you can craft and want to do because they're fun, different new cards to try out and that sort of stuff. So that's a big W. Now, the interesting thing is we have 16 tokens that have been released, but not all 16 are actually available. As you can see right here, I'm, I just did my daily login and I just now got this token. Uh, this is one of the 16 that's been released, right? And I got the Lone Marquinhos, W. But there are two more inside of this on day seven and day 10, I believe, that are counted towards swaps that are in the game. So technically right now, according to the website, we've been using this tracker, the Foot Sheriff tweets out this tracker. I think it's the best and most put together tracker out of all of them. Uh, there are 16 that have been released, but the two guys that are at the end of the Foot Birthday login objective, McGlynn and, and Isaac, uh, you can't even get them yet. So actually, you kind of have to minus two off of that. So there have been 14 total, including the store packs. Today is going to get us to 15 uh, through the uh, token that will be coming through first owner fiesta this uh, hoffman token is going to be going away today a new one probably coming in for that so watch out if you're going to do the 15 token player pick today is technically like the first day you could actually physically do it with the swaps that have been released on the game so that's kind of a whole swaps discussion and scenario let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking uh, there's not really a wrong answer uh, i would just wanted to lay all that out for you guys and talk about how i really think swaps is impacting this game at the moment alongside of this 80 plus player pick guys yesterday man don't sleep on these bro because i know some people are saying nate these are not that good all it takes is one player pick man to get something like this we got absolutely insanely blessed yesterday with a icon foot birthday best and i think i did like 15 12 to 15 player picks yesterday um i bought some cards before content and all of a sudden out pops 94 best with five star skills absolutely insane literally my best value pack pull of the year behind vvd or ahead of vvd and layout both of these are first owner as well right i mean crazy 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 pack pull from that and guess what i saw a lot of people yesterday packing foot birthdays as well from those i saw a lot of people packing uh we packed another icon on stream another george best out of one of those player picks from another um player pick so the 80 pluses i think are an incredible incredible craft they're a one of three and you know you can tell that a lot of people are doing them because if you take a look at non rares on the market non rares are already up to about 550 coins usually non rares aren't reaching those prices on uh, player picks during the week until like uh, thursday wednesday or thursday and we are already insta selling at 550 coins right now on this game so I think there's a lot of hype for the 80 plus player pick. I think it is decent value, but of course it does cost coins. It's just a nice place to put any non rares and rares that you get throughout this week uh, in that SBC. We also had the year in review player pick yesterday, which I know a lot of people look at these and say, Nate, these are a scam. They kind of are. All right, let's keep it honest and just keep it with what it is. These are a bit scammy. This one was a bit expensive, 166K as well. But the, the thing is, it's so craftable, right? It's so easy to get done. 84 and 86 rated squads. It's really not 166K. If you have any sort of fodder in the club, you can get it done and it's pretty fun. Now, again, the big draw to this is that you have the potential to pack player of the month Mbappe from it. It is confirmed. You can pack that card. Um, Taram, you can see some of the players that are SBCs and objectives from previous uh, months in this game are here on like the most popular page 
on Footbin. Uh, is the Catalera available from that? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mares, I know, is available from it. Gareth Bale is available. So if you missed out on some of those SBCs or objectives, like I got Rovella in my player pick yesterday, which is kind of crazy to be like, I didn't have to go through and play all of those games to get the Future Stars Rovella objective done. I just do this player pick uh, a month and a half later and bang, I get the card. So not that that card's making my main team or anything. It's just kind of crazy how EA now, uh, they, they've done this the past couple of years, but release old SBCs and objectives into a player pick that you can get, you know, for like like this, instead of having to do the SBC with multiple segments or like Nuno Tavares people were packing yesterday, which was like one of the most expensive left back objectives in the game. And they got him for doing 166,000 coins player pick. So that's kind of the cool part about this, but also it can be pretty scammy as well. It's a fun one, right? That's why it's kind of a mixed upvote downvote. I like it. It's fun, but you just have to still be careful with your coins, know how many coins you have, and just be kind of careful with that. Uh, we also had a premium Electrum uh, players upgrade pack yesterday, which is really interesting. And this is really nice, I think, for people that like the BPM grind with the other upgrade packs that are out, like the silver and the bronze ones. I think this is an SBC that will really uh, help out your upgrade craft grind this week from another angle, which is kind of cool uh, for the silvers you're going to be able to get and golds from that pack right there. So not a ton of hype around those, but yesterday was just a big SBC day. And that's why I really feel like, and I said it in the beginning a bit, but I feel like the tides have turned with Foot Birthday a bit. I think the way that I looked at this promo on Friday has completely changed. I really think that yes, the upgrades for some of the cards in packs do not look good. The Pedri upgrade was not that great, but the Awobi upgrade was nice. I don't know why they can't say this is the Disasi SBC. Uh, foot birthday player SBC is how it's labeled. They don't even, I don't know what's going on here, EA. Is this a rights issue? No dynamic image yet as well. I'm confused. But regardless, um, foot birthday de Sassi, there it says his name. But foot, foot birthday player is the name of the SBC. So confused on that one. Anyways, um, you know, I just feel like this promo has gone from a very big disappointment on day one to now being at least a good bit better because of the swaps program, giving out a lot of fodder for decent um, token prices. And then there's just so many objectives to grind and to craft to get the upgrade packs, even if you're saving packs. Um, for team two, because you hope team two is going to be better. Like, man, there's still a lot to do right now in this game. I'm not even saving packs at the moment. I've got some of my weekend league rewards packs that we just never got to yesterday on the stream. So, I mean, I wow, look at that. Give me a walkout. Bring in some more fodder, man. Portugal cam. Bruno? Hey, I could have gotten Bernardo. Would have loved to have the other Portugal center attacking mid. But boom, like I'll take those 84s, 83s. I'll take the fodder. And I'm not saving packs right now because I'm trying to pack Emerson. I think these icons, like I got yesterday, sometimes, you know, they just pop. And all of a sudden, you're like, wow, I just got an icon. And that's crazy. So with the kind of craziness of SBCs, let's talk about the market and especially SBC fodder because I know a lot of you guys, myself included, still have a lot of big money in SBC fodder. Whether you've sold it, whether you thought about selling it or you haven't yet, that's kind of the decision right now. When do you sell your fodder? If you have 87 rated and above, 89s, 90s, and 91s have done the business. 91s are approaching 71K, huge rises there. 90 rated cards are 57k huge rise that's normally the price we buy 91s at right so i mean these cards just keep going up because there's not a lot of tradable supply the weekend league rewards are done the weekend and lightning rounds are done if i were you guys i would think if you want to take the cash in the short term i would sell the higher rated fodder before thursday i really would um but i think there's also a time and, and maybe a potential that if you held on to this stuff it could keep going higher in the next week because a lot of these SBCs are going to still be here. Mbappe, Cruyff, the Rivaldo, those are out for multiple weeks at a time. So I think you can also hold on to your fodder as well as they could continue to rise even as Team 2 comes for foot birthday with those big SBCs still being out. So that's kind of my opinion there. The middle tier fodder, you have your 85s to your like 87s. They're up a little bit. 86 has jumped some yesterday with the um, the year in review player pick, but not a huge jump. And really the low tier part of the market is not doing that amazing. 85s are up a little bit. 84s, almost the same price, unless you got them at like three and a half K. And 83s even went lower yesterday, 1.3. 1.3 is what 83s were at. Those are very, very low. It's just the fact that we didn't have an SBC that is like repeatable multiple times. Like we didn't get like an 83 times 10 with like an 82 and an 83 squad inside of it. That sort of thing would have made 
the 83s and the 84s go up a lot more. So if you have those, I club stocked a little bit of those. I'm still holding on to them. I'm not in a hurry to get rid of them. Uh, just hold on to them. Maybe next week they go up a lot more. But at this time, it just looks like for this week, unless we get some more SBC content, they are not going to fly a ton right now. Just keep listening for lazies, though. As you can tell, I get a couple lazies every once in a while. Sold us a lot at uh, 60K. Sold a Casemiro at 117,000 coins. Bought that at 90,000 coins flat. So I'm lazy listing a lot of fodder at the moment. Um, and that's kind of the way that I would go about things and uh, sell it before Thursday, Friday if you want to get out of them and then maybe look to reinvest in the weekend. That is probably what I would do. But since there's so much kind of emphasis on SBCs, those prices should keep rising up until we get towards the end of the week. Now, for the rest of the market, the Sassi yesterday had a decent amount of movement, um, caused a decent amount of movement on center backs because a French center back, let's be honest, is always going to move the market, especially if it's a decent value. I don't think the Sassi's SBC is like a must complete. Fofana right now with these two undercuts at 3D6 is a bit interesting. But if you take a look at some of the French center backs on the market, they did take a hit in price, especially in that middle to lower tier range. Kalulu, right? We, we see this all the time. A substitute card came out of the game yesterday. A new French center back, even though he's not in the Serie A, Kalulu going from 80 down to 63,000 coins. Even the Wesley Fofana that we just looked at, who's 385, that's a tempting price for me because he was 400K yesterday. He was technically down in the 370s. That's a price that I like a little bit better, but this is a live card, guys, like a live card that is going to get upgraded. So that's why I'm kind of interested in that one there. And maybe with the Conte SBC still upcoming, you know, you have potential movements. Body of Shill, 138K, down to 100,000 coins bounced back up about 10k so as we see more and more daily player sbcs dropped in this game which we have another leak for one today watch out for the substitute cards cards are same position same league that people might be selling to go get the new sbc one uh and then you could potentially trade with those like this body show went to 100k now back up to 117 fofana of course was down at the 370 that we looked at, and he is now back up. Now, we do have a leak for another SBC player, and we're still counting, right, for Klasenak. We're still counting for, you know, Ozil, Conte, those big names that we have not seen yet. Mikel Antonio is another one that's been leaked as an SBC or objective during foot birthday. Uh, another Premier League player. Again, cue the jokes, cue the comments about, man, this is such a Premier League-based promo. Besides the League One objective or SBC that we got today in the Sassi, like, so much Premier League. And it's really true, guys. I struggle with looking at the market and really wanting to invest in some links to um, like Premier League cards as you take and think around some of the links for some of these cards that would maybe go up as we get new releases. Not that trend would go up for a Mikel Antonio, but like Ben Ramos card, right? 51,000 coins for him. I think that's actually back down. Yeah, he was 50K when the league came out. And he went to 56. This is probably going to rise back up today as people might expect the uh, SBC for Antonio to drop today on this game. I'm just being careful with Premier League cards right now because a lot of them are just... They're just inflated, guys. They're just up in price. Um, I, I look at the cool about, okay, 380. Now I'm getting tempted. All right, show me a 370 and I'm in. Live cards. I still like the live card part of the market uh, for the most part right now. But, you know, just be careful with these cards uh, in the Premier League because, yes, they're up a lot. And just be careful with the ones especially that have risen um, in links to the potential upcoming SBCs like Kudabali for Conte or just so many Prem cards recently has driven the other Prem cards on the game up in price. So just be very, very careful with that. But like I said, I do like the live cards. I like the foot fantasy cards. I like the fantasy heroes that do have potential upgrades to come. And as we get further on into this week, I don't feel like the market's going to do anything crazy in terms of exploding upwards in price. These foot birthday cards are just kind of chilling. I don't expect these to go crazy um, because we're getting daily SBC content. People are crafting. People are really in the menu grind right now. And that to me is more in demand than buying these cards for teams. We're looking for foot birthday team two. How could the leaks be for that? How could the hype be for team two with the promo? And, you know, during all of that, what do we have this weekend? Well, we've got games, guys. We've got games and these players are back in action and up Upgrades are on the line, potentially some plus twos for some of these guys um, with goals and assists and clean sheets and then the wins, right? I would take a close look if you want to invest in some of these cards. Go through the dynamic players, foot fantasy list, through a lot of these cards, and maybe you look through the ones that have not been upgraded yet. Um, and you would probably not look at any of the heroes that have got a win because a hero that's gotten a win, a lot of the upgrade potential is out there for the next couple of weeks. But you look at like Morientes, 
you know, they play on Sunday. That could be a game where you see uh, a win for Real Madrid and his price goes up. But just kind of look into some of these cards that are on the market that haven't had upgrades yet. You maybe say, okay, Ruben Diaz, this is his first game. Yeah, they're playing against Liverpool. Not an easy game. But, you know, what if, for the flip side of the coin, what if Jota comes out, scores a goal, Liverpool win? If he were to score one goal and get an assist, then bang, that's a plus two, right? I mean, not saying that's going to happen, but that's the sort of stuff that I would look into with some of these cards. If, if they're still low in price compared to where they were and they have upgrade potentials on the line, do a little bit of research, do a little bit of digging. And uh, those are cards that I would want to be kind of eyeing later on throughout this week from the fantasy team from the fantasy team one and the heroes as well just keep an eye on those because as we get towards the end of the week the hype is going to return to those even with foot birthday team two hype really starting to build as well so really quickly at the end of this video what are we expecting today on tuesday another swaps token like we mentioned swaps token number 17 in total but number 15 that you can technically get right now kind of a confusing thing right uh, unless they were to drop two today but uh the First owner fiesta is going to reset today. We will be able to do this again. Uh, I don't know if they switched all the timers. EA did switch the timer on like the daily login after the mix up on Sunday because of the clocks changing. Um, but watch out for this at content today. Probably a new token inside of there. Daily SBC player Ozil, Klostenak, Antonio, or Conte. One of those uh, few. I really feel like Conte might be later in the week, guys. Uh, actually, Conte's actual birthday is Wednesday. So if EA pay attention. Wednesday would be a fantastic day for them to drop a Conte SBC, although that SBC seems more fit for a Friday. We'll have to see, but that'd be super cool if they lined it up with Conte's birthday. That'd be really, really cool. And then uh, the last thing I want to talk about and just point out too is the player of the month votings have all started early because of the international break at the end of March. So watch out for potential player of the month SBC leaks and information and news kind of dropping maybe as early as today on this game and you start hearing some leaks and stuff and of course always keep an eye out for foot birthday team two leaks feel like we're a bit early for that but i think it was last tuesday as well when those leaks started to come out for foot birthday team one so that's kind of what's going on in this game right now have fun crafting on the menus we're going to be opening more player picks today this george best pack pull has definitely motivated me to do more packs i'm trying to pack emerson still uh but again guys you never know what you can hit out of an 80 plus uh, red listed EA pack luck streamer, whatever you want to say. Uh, crazy, crazy that happened. That's my biggest pack pull of the year, and I'm not complaining whatsoever. Although George Best does seem to be the most commonly pack pulled foot birthday icon. Anyways, Chad, I just called you guys chat. YouTube comments, comment down below if you enjoyed the video today, what you're doing on FIFA right now. I'm just curious to hear from you guys all the time what you're enjoying about the content, what you think about this promo. So love to hear your thoughts down there. But if you enjoyed today's video, thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Native Foot Account and catch you guys later. Peace out.